All new on the night team, the New Albany City Council is backing Mayor Jeff Gahan to put a hold on construction on new apartment buildings in the city with another unanimous vote to move forward tonight. But not everyone living in New Albany agrees with the City Council. WHS 1119's Alex Dieterer and photojournalist Addie Hill spoke with residents and homeowners, one who tells us he thinks the moratorium would be a step back. New Albany has plenty of new apartment buildings. That's how the mayor and other top city leaders view it. With the hunt for affordable housing growing more difficult, the city is moving closer to saying no more. Halting construction of new apartments and short-term rentals. In my uh, professional opinion, um, it is more of a local attempt to band-aid a national issue. Zachary White, a New Albany homeowner and designer at an architecture firm, has been vocal about his opposition to the proposed moratorium. Costs for a single family um, property have skyrocketed. You can't really build as affordable as um, you previously have for the same square footage that you can get in a multifamily property. The goal of the moratorium is to increase home ownership by temporarily stopping the construction of multifamily properties like apartments for at least a year. A comprehensive housing study for New Albany conducted by UofL found that home ownership in the city has fallen from a high of 65% in 1960 to 54% today. Uh, moving into the moratorium, uh, we're just wondering what the programs are uh, might help first time uh, home buyers and assistance and things like that. The New Albany Planning Commission Director Scott Woods says the city will be considering affordable housing moving into the moratorium, saying New Albany has a good portfolio of affordable housing in both the public and private sectors. Another issue raised is the increase in mobility among younger generations. When there are less apartment units, there's um, less opportunity for people my age and younger to enter a community. A lot of jobs are remote now, a lot of jobs are temporary. White believes a moratorium could lead to a population exodus in New Albany, a sentiment the New Albany City Council disagrees with, voting unanimously to move forward with the proposed moratorium. In New Albany, Alex Dieterer, the WHAS 11 night team on your side. So what's next for the moratorium proposal there? The New Albany City Council will conduct their third reading of this at the meeting coming up on February 15th.